Hello everyone and welcome to the Carrier Wi-Fi World Summit. My name is Zahir Khan, Chief Operating Officer of Project Isizwe. And firstly, let me apologize for not being there with you in person. And I trust you're all having a wonderful conference. First, let me start off with telling you about Project Isizwe. Project Isizwe is a non-profit organization started in 2013 with the objective of bridging the digital divide. What we've done to date is connected a percentage of the South African population and focused within the city of Chwane itself, we have connected 20% of the city of Chwane's population. The objective is not just bridging the digital divide, but also empowering the nation for the purposes of education, economic development, and social cohesion. Let me take you through a series of videos that will then form part of this presentation, and I trust you all enjoy. Thank you. Uplifting our low-income communities means providing free water, electricity, and sanitation. But what about empowering these communities? What about education, jobs, and social inclusion? The internet means education is just a click away. It opens the doors to employment and brings us closer together. Unfortunately, high prices put the internet out of reach for those who need it the most. Project Isizwe is bringing free Wi-Fi internet to South Africa. We partner with municipalities to plan, install and launch free Wi-Fi networks in low-income communities. You see, we don't waste money on fancy new buildings to operate from. Instead, we use infrastructure that's already there and employ local companies for any work required. We get bandwidth at discounted rates, driving down costs to less than one rand a gig. The result? Government can affordably subsidize free Wi-Fi for its people. With 250 megabytes per day, no passwords and no catch. What's more, ECs where users get unlimited access to educational and job searching content. Swane, our capital, has already connected tens of thousands of citizens and millions more are on the way. Internet access plays a critical part in uplifting our nation. Help us bring free internet to all. Lend your support at projectisizwe.org. Project now let me tell you about Project Isizwe and the current projects we have on the go. Firstly, we've deployed nationally to the province of Limpopo, which is the north, northern parts of South Africa. We have deployed to the Western Cape, which is on the extreme west side of South Africa. And of course, we've done our key work in the city of Chwane, which is essentially the heart of South Africa itself. Within the city of Chwane, we have 620 sites live, and these are free open public space Wi-Fi sites. We have connected over 650,000 unique users over this network since it launched in November 2013. In addition, we have approximately 50,000 unique users on the network every single day. Municipalities have brought many benefits to our people. Homes, electrical power and running water. Now, a new benefit has arrived. The delivery of knowledge, opening the doors of learning, culture and opportunity. Bridging the digital divide with free Wi-Fi access. Free Wi-Fi spells empowerment through digital textbooks, CVs and job searches, e-commerce for local entrepreneurs, online health advice and a host of other life-changing benefits. In partnership with the local non-profit organization Project Isizwe, provincial administrators and local municipalities can roll out free Wi-Fi internet. That's free for the residents of the townships and the rural communities. The cost to the municipality is minimal. Through the first phase of Isizwe's partnership with the city of Tswane, free Wi-Fi capacity has been provided to public spaces to over 2 million people, and the network is growing. We don't see any future better than having people being able to connect to one another, being able to interact and talk with speed and in the shortest possible time at no cost to them. Project Isizwe has developed a low-cost model for deploying data networks. The cost of setting up Wi-Fi infrastructure is a fraction of 3G. Interconnected Wi-Fi base stations give coverage to over hundreds of square kilometers and transmit to all Wi-Fi capable devices. The city of Shwani's electrical department had run fiber optics between their substations. 
The Metro Police and the City of Shawnee's IT department have an MPLS network also making use of fiber optics. So what we've done is we've worked with all three of them and tie these three fiber optic um, networks together to provide a single service, which is the free Wi-Fi. Whereas private telecom companies pay massively to rent and electrify sites for their infrastructure, municipalities already possess ideal electrified sites for Wi-Fi base stations. The third cost savings comes on labor. Wi-Fi doesn't need expensive engineers. Local labor can easily be trained to install and maintain the base stations. The final cost reducer is Isizwe's access to the spare bandwidth capacity abundant within South Africa's underground reservoir of fiber optic cables. Project Isizwe is all about dropping boreholes into those underground streams and bringing tap water to the surface so that water is available for everybody, not just the people that can afford it. And that tap water is free Wi-Fi. The free Wi-Fi provided by cities like Tuane has been strong enough in terms of speed, quality and quantity to enable viewing of videos on our hyper-local channel, Wi-Fi TV. In the future, internet will be a human right. Today, in partnership with local municipalities, Isizwe is pioneering that right. All of this has been achieved by Project Isizwe working hand-in-hand -hand with local government. They form a key part of the ingredients to make the Wi-Fi service work. Our service specification allows for an average speed in the city of Chuane of 7 megabit per second symmetrical. We also have 250 megabytes per device per day for every user of the free Wi-Fi service, in addition to which we allow unlimited access to our content portal. Project Isizwe's vision is being realized on a day-to-day -day basis. The future plans for Project Isizwe and the city of Chuane specifically are that a project entitled Wi-Fi Everywhere will be launched on the 1st of July this year. The objective would be that within urban centers, we have a site within a kilometer distance of the population and a site within rural areas of five kilometers within every citizen, which means that Wi-Fi everywhere essentially translates into having Wi-Fi within walking distance of every citizen in the city of Chuane, which is by no means a small feat. The city of Tuane has finally launched its much-anticipated Wi-Fi TV, which is a video-on-demand service on Tuane's free network. By establishing Wi-Fi TV, the city is now able to deliver digital video content to its people, free of charge, and it's unlimited via the Toweta portal. Wi-Fi TV is a unique innovation. It's a new platform that allows for engagement with our communities. We can use this platform for better engagement, extend opportunities to young people. Here we are. We are going to bridge just now 600,000 unique users. Now Wi-Fi TV, a major success, phenomenal success. We've recruited and trained young people from the Gassis of Tuane to go out on a daily basis and create content about their communities for their communities. My name is Ketabiso Musima, your representative for Sashanguve, Captain Sashanguve. Gabelo Manaka from Mami Lodi all the way from the east side. Connect up team, Lebohandra Hube. Hello, Victoria. My name is Emmanuel. This is your boy, Shkobelo Nalasoa Nalagan Chabeleng. On the ones and twos, on the four one ones. Tell local stories and reflect local realities. Wi-Fi TV not only gives communities a voice, but also gives them access to information and entertaining content. There's a variety of content ranging from sports, current affairs, music, what's on and what's happening in your community. It will help profile and promote local businesses and also inform people about what the city is planning and also to tell them how to engage with the city. So get involved. If you're in Twane, simply log on to the free Wi-Fi network. If not, log on to connectuptv.pockettv.mobi and enjoy. So now let me take this opportunity to tell you about services on top of this public space Wi-Fi network, starting with Wi-Fi Chat. Wi-Fi Chat is a custom-made chat service that the city of Chuane will use to actually engage more dedicatedly towards its citizens. This platform allows what's traditionally the process for communication with the public, in which the city holds public hearings and has audience members coming through to tell them their opinions about the city's plans, has now gone digital through Wi-Fi chat. This allows the city to immediately 
communicate with their communities, especially the youth, and have the youth give real-time feedback to the city on what they think of the plans of the city. Wi-Fi Chat also serves as a new service delivery platform for the city, where traditionally citizens would have to call into call centers and speak to someone. Now with the digital age, citizens are allowed to use the Wi-Fi Chat service and systems to actually log faults, log complaints about potholes, about outages or any other service delivery issue they have a complaint with directly to the city and the city can respond in real time opening up completely new horizons in the digital world. Another key service that I must inform you about is a service called Wi-Fi Voice. Over the existing Wi-Fi network calls between users over this network will be completely free. It's important to understand the circumstances for South Africa to completely appreciate what is being done by the city of Chuane for Wi-Fi Voice. Essentially, the cost of communication in the country today is one of the most expensive globally. We have a 40% broadband penetration rate, which means that 60% of the nation has not been connected to the internet. Not only does the free Wi-Fi service facilitate this, but the cost of communication for Wi-Fi voice then turns into a data cost, of which the city is funding on behalf of its citizens. It means that throughout the city of Chuane, once the Wi-Fi everywhere service is available, people can talk from one end of the city to the other, at absolutely no charge to them. The city can also utilize the service to empower citizens to talk across the country using digital means like WhatsApp, Messenger, or calls, any service that allows free calls. You can then communicate from the city of Chuane to anywhere globally at no cost to the end user, as long as you're utilizing a free Wi-Fi service. The last vast service that I'm going to tell you about is something called Wi-Fi drive-ins. If all of you can remember back in the day, drive-ins were prevalent. Everyone jumped in their vehicles, went off to a drive-in, parked at the premises, put on a speaker onto your window of your vehicle and watched a movie on a big screen. Now in the digital age, Wi-Fi drive-ins is something completely different. Think about an open public space where any citizen is allowed to come into the area with any Wi-Fi enabled device and access Hollywood movies at the click of a button to their personal devices. This is what Wi-Fi drive-ins actually enable. It's a change from the norms. Traditionally, in our low-income communities, especially in our townships in South Africa, over the weekend, there's not much in terms of entertainment value that citizens can engage in. What we're now doing with the Wi-Fi drive-in is giving an outlet, a family-oriented environment, where citizens can come through with their families and together watch good quality movies from Hollywood. With this project, is Seasway and the city of Chuane is set to actually change the value of Wi-Fi networks for everyone across the city. These plans are actually fulfilled by a couple of mechanisms. One, there's the traditional mechanisms of advertising, cost per click methodologies, and all of these are enabled and will be enabled for the city of Chuane as well as any other network we deploy nationally. With this in mind, Project Seasway well has delivered carrier grade networks across all of its deployments to ensure, number one, we can leverage off the latest in developments from a commercial perspective, and that's Wi-Fi roaming. Wi-Fi roaming globally is becoming more prevalent and more pro prominent. We've seen that globally about 70% of mobile operators are currently engaged with some sort of roaming agreement with Wi-Fi network operators. In addition, you've got 3G offload. 3G offload is where a user seamlessly migrates from a data network or mobile data network onto a Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi network operator then carries and transits the traffic and ultimately hands over back to the mobile operator at an agreed interconnect rate. All of these coupled together with the standard free Wi-Fi service models of advertising will then create sustainability for these networks going forward. Currently, all of these networks are government funded and for the future, within three years, we will have commercial sustainability models enabled and deployed. We successfully trialed 3G offload with mobile operators in South Africa and it does work. The great thing is, carrier grade Wi-Fi networks is the way to go for all operators across the globe. Let me take this opportunity to thank everyone at the Carrier World Wi-Fi Summit and apologize again for not being there in person. My contact details will be shown on the screen right now. Please take them and stay in touch.